Hi guys, it is Tuesday and I am bringing you a video for some hauls that I've gotten over the last, gosh, uh, two or three months. So I know I was putting out a lot of content prior to June because I was furloughed from work as a personal trainer and I continued to do a little bit of independent training because I had some clients that didn't want to stop and so the majority of my business personal training wise closed down and um, although I've got you know like a couple and then uh, what has been ramping up is my health coaching online so I've been very focused on that I do have a new website if you're interested in learning more about health coaching and how it can help you or you know someone that needs help then that website is ihbt.net so www.ihbt.net and it'll give you a little bit of insight about uh, what I've been focused on and what I've been doing in my practice so lots of things have changed <laughs> I, I do intend on continuing to do personal training, but I really enjoy health coaching. Um, it's brought, brought me great pleasure, and I feel like I'm, I'm truly helping my clients at a deeper level than just one-on-one -on -one personal training. So, that being said, um, I also, one of the reasons why I've slowed down on my videos is because my daughter... My youngest daughter and her baby moved back in. If you followed me last year, they moved out. Well, she had the baby in June. Well, the end of May. She moved in in June. She moved out in December. Um, and then in June this year, she moved back in with me, her and the baby only. So she has split from her boyfriend and she's trying to get her life in order and guess who's become the second parent that would be me that's what i'm doing <laughs> so um yeah art has kind of been on the back burner because of that and it's just been what else happened oh um mid-june i had rotator cuff surgery so I had two tears in my rotator cuff and some bone spurs that had developed and so I could not use my right arm for quite a while um, I go to physical therapy now it's healing well I don't have full range of motion but I'm working on it and that's really hard with a baby <laughs> that was a true test they literally my daughter literally had her meltdown the day at the day of my surgery and at 4 a.m. the next morning of my surgery after my surgery was when it kind of came to a head with her and she was in panic mode so I went from one very traumatic thing to my body to another like let's rescue my daughter and get her in the house and secure and make sure that the baby and her are in a good spot so that's been crazy then July like you you think what else could be happening July happened um, and I got married so we found out we could get a marriage license in June um, the courthouse had opened back up as far as applying for marriage license so we applied in June and we got married on July 4th at a local park in my, um, well it's not my neighborhood, but it's very close to my home. And so, yeah, Bab and I are officially married. So I get to wear my, my ring every day and I think that getting married was like magic for Bab. He was a great guy before but now he is amazingly like all in like comfortable less stressed it's like he has zero doubts he's fully committed so it was like a light switch it was it was amazing so 
um, that happened. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sure you'd like to see my haul. I've been, um, I'm trying to think of what else has been going on, but I can't. Um, it's just, it's been crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. So, um, I got this from a cherry on top probably back in June. And so I wanted to share it with you. I got it because of the baby's birthday. Her birthday was May 28th and she turned one. And so I decided I don't really have any young uh, girly type of birthday celebration ephemera or paper or anything but I got a million paper so I can always and I, I do a lot of white so I saw this collection it's by Simple Stories Magical Birthday and I think it's just adorable there are 52 pieces in oh what's that a little pair of shades my oldest daughter wears a pair of shades just like that um, and then a bunch of little gold elements. I love the little wand. Look at that. That's so cute. And the unicorn cake. Oh my goodness. I was going to buy her something like that, but her mama wanted to make her a cake. So we had her birthday and then two weeks later they moved in. <laughs> So all my free time is go it's over. It's gone between work and baby. Believe me, I um, was not prepared to have a baby in my life full time. It has been exhausting. <laughs> and she, so I'm called Juju and um, she loves her Juju. Oh my goodness, that baby throws a fit if I leave the house or her mom or dad try to you know take her from me it's like she is not having it not having it my daughter's young so she's just not got the experience that I have and I think baby Ella can sense that you know babies are smart they can sense that stability and that I'm, I'm very much the matriarch of the family and so of course she just kind of gravitates towards that because that's what babies do I mean don't get me wrong Lennon is a good mom she loves her baby but she's just she's young so oh look there's a little horn blower So cute. This is adorable. Little macaroons and lollipops. I guess these are like little fans or um, what do you call those little pinwheels that you decorate with? I can't remember. If you know the name of those little pinwheels that you decorate with, let me know. Because I can't come up with that in my head right now. Look at how stinking cute this cake is. And these balloons. Ah. Oh. Having a little girl around again is so much fun when it comes to buying cute little dresses. Yay, it's your day. I guess this is a little crown. So, yes, I've I've gone crazy on buying cute little clothes and sleepy gowns and now we have a crib. I've converted my, well my youngest daughter is now in my oldest daughter's room and the baby is in my youngest daughter's room that she grew up in. So we have a full setup of, um, the baby has a room, my daughter has a room. Here is, okay, here is Simple Stories, Chipboard Stickers, Magical Birthday. And of course it matches perfectly with the ephemera. Love this. Partay. 
Partay, partay. I think I used a couple of these pieces to make a layout because I'm seeing some missing, but um, that's okay. I still want to share with you. Okay, this collection is called uh, Flora, and it's by Cartabella, and these are the chipboard accents, and I think they would look lovely for my wedding. That is kind of what I got them for. I just think that they're very pretty for a wedding layout. Um, and then also just for outdoor garden. I, I like to garden. And I thought this was really pretty. This is the um, this is the kit. So it has the element stickers. Oh, here's what I'm looking for. It's by Jen Allison. And it has the 12, 12 by 12 double-sided textured papers. And I guess the 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. So let me... Okay, camera died, no warning. <laughs> so um, I know this is kind of long, but this I left off with this being the B-side. And what is the name of this? I guess it's just, it doesn't appear to have names. It has, an, oh, Elegant Journaling Cards is this paper because of the cut aparts. So that's pretty. I think this is gorgeous. All the floral elements and watercolor effects. And then the back side is just a lovely tone on tone floral. Let's see. This one is um, black with all sorts of floral elements. Very elegant. And then the back side is just a nice little color wash of pink. Ooh, why are you not focusing? There you go. Huh, there you go. I guess I was holding it too close, but you can see the pink color wash. This one is another floral, but a smaller motif. And then the back is another color wash but in the purple with a tone on tone dot. So you can see the dots there. This is another cut apart sheet and I think this is just beautiful. I'm hope I have struggled with cut apart sheets in the past but I'm hoping I can integrate these into some of my layouts. Isn't that just beautiful? It's so pretty. It was funny because I finally found a babysitter for Ella. Ooh, look at this blue. Another co color wash with blue and it has white polka dots. I finally found a babysitter for Ella for the weekends because I had no weekends. I mean, they were absolutely all baby because my daughter was working. This is a really pretty floral too. Oh, and then a color washing green, but it has a little hatch cross there in a tone on tone. So I finally found a babysitter and this is the first weekend that I'm going to be able to actually do things that I want to do for a few hours each day. Another one of the florals with the small motifs, more on the pink side with a pink color wash and it has a floral element tone on tone. I love these color washes. Love them. I like them more than I like the florals. <laughs> But I told Bab, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Like, am I going to focus on school? Am I going to focus on working out or programming? Or what am I going to focus on? And he said, why don't you do some art? 
it has been a while. Like, do something artistic. This is a pretty motif. It's kind of more of a damask. And I was like, huh, I hadn't even thought of that. My life has been so busy. It did not occur to me that I could actually do some scrapbooking or some art. Let your dreams blossom. That's really pretty too. Ooh, and look at this little subtle pink with the cross hatch. Super cute. I'm loving these B sides. Oh. You know, I always buy it for the florally side, and then <laughs> I get to where I use it, and I always want the B side. I'm always like, oh, the B side's so gorgeous. There's some more of those floral elements, and then a softer green with um, flowers, <clears throat> tone on tone. But I love, love, love the color wash. This one has a large motif of florals. I could see myself fussy cutting out some of these. And then the B side is, it's very pink. <laughs> it's a very pink B side with little floral elements, but um, it even says subtle large floral, which I don't think this color or that motif is subtle, but if it works for them, it works for me. And I thought this was very elegant. This is so pretty. It's got the little wreaths, and there's some that are ovals and some that are circles. And my camera's trying to die on me again. I, I guess I need to buy a new battery because I've got two that I, you know, switch out and they're just not holding charge anymore. This is a beautiful white floral on a color wash of pink. Love that. And then this is the sticker sheet. How cute. Love all the little banners. All the little things. Now this says happy birthday to you, I guess, and best wishes. Hmm. I guess I could use some of these for birthday as well. Love this little floral. Super cute. Super, super cute. So that is the Flora collection from Cartabella. And then I've got a couple of things from Pink Fresh Studio, which is Let's Stay Home collection. This is the puffy stickers. And I'm going to go through this pretty quick because I, I know my um, camera's going to die on me. This is the chipboard flare. As you can see, I've used some. Still not really my color motif, but I just, I needed to have something to document the COVID experience. I'm going to show you the back side instead of pull all these out. I've been doing a lot of cooking. I actually have been doing, well, before baby I was sleeping in. It's funny, it took me about two months to catch up on my sleep because I was working so many hours in the gym. What's this one say? Today's plans. Like, it's got some cute little, I love this one, the little gym weights. So if you want me to pull this out and show you a little more in detail than I can do that. Just let me know in the comments below. So I could, I've got two more. I've got two Hip Kit Club um, kits, main kits and cardstock add-on that I could be sharing with you. And I think I'm going to leave that for the next video. Um, and I know I'm behind. <laughs> But I wanted to visit with y'all and I miss you all and a uh, few people have reached out to me and asked what's what's up and I'm, I'm just busy my life is full 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 so I appreciate you watching I will have another video for you very soon 
um, hopefully very soon. Um, don't mark my words because <laughs> I never know day to day what I'm going to be able to accomplish um, other than what I'm committed to with sessions for work. But um, yeah, that's it for now. And I hope you're all safe and I hope you're all happy. And if you have small children in school and you're trying to navigate that, my heart goes out to you. I can't imagine how difficult that is while working from home. So um, good luck on that. I've got some friends that are really struggling because it just started back here. But again, if you know anyone that needs health coach help, then reach out to me as well. And I will talk to you later. <laughs> Ta-ta for now. Bye.